Charge! I just played a bugle call for you. Bugling is basically a series of notes that can all be played on the same fingering. I'm going to play that for you again, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently and I want you to see if you can tell what I'm changing. Charge! <laughs> did you notice what I did? I slurred it this time. So when I play a series of notes on the same fingering but slurred, we call that a lip slur. Okay? It's also, it could be called a bugle still, but it's going to be specifically called a lip slur. By the way, what is the difference between a lip slur and a regular slur? You know, the kind of slur that we learned a couple of lessons ago. Think about that for just a second. Well, let me tell you. When you play a regular slur, you have to change your fingering to get to the slurred note. When you play a lip slur, you have to really just manipulate your airstream and your embouchure, but you keep the same fingering. And before we had valves on the horn, the only notes that we could play were the pitches that come out when you play a lip slur. So this is why um, lip slurs are the very most fundamental thing about playing the horn or any brass instrument for that matter. And since fundamentals are the building blocks of establishing great technique, we will spend much of this lesson working on them. By doing so, we will build lip flexibility, precision, muscle tone and strength, and our range. First, I'd like to play a three note exercise for you on the open horn or without any valves. Those two terms mean the same thing. This is a very basic lip slur and I'll start on G. Does that sound familiar? We've actually played this three note exercise before in an earlier lesson and now we know what to call it. It's a lip slur. The notes I played are G, E, and C. The notes in a lip slur can be referred to as several different terms. You can call it a partial, an overtone, or a harmonic. I'm pointing this out because people refer to these notes with these terms all the time interchangeably, but they all mean the exact same thing. Now, if we didn't have valves and we wanted to play in this range, but in a different key, we wouldn't really be able to. But since we do have valves, we can expand this three note exercise and play it in seven different keys by using a very specific fingering pattern. Let's learn this fingering pattern now. It's open, second, first, one, two, two, three, one, three, all three. Just for fun, let me show you what I can do with this fingering pattern. And so on. I can keep going lower and lower. <laughs> 